Do you struggle in interview situations? Would you like to learn how to get really good and comfortable in an interview situation? And would you like to learn the four things that any potential employer is looking for in a potential employee? You're gonna find out that and so much more in today's episode of Going Deeper, so welcome. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey folks and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I'm your host as always, John Morris, the psychologist in training, author, speaker, teacher, artist, everything else that I am out there, but ultimately person that's going to help you get from where you are to where you want to be, and that's the aim of this show. In today's show, folks, we are talking about all things job interview situations. I know there's a lot of people around this time of year, particularly teenagers, that are getting ready to leave school and are getting ready to either go into college and further education, but more specifically focused in today's episode going out into the job market and that can be a terrifying thing so what often happens when someone is going out for a job situation is they think about it in two ways they think about it as well you know I, I may get you know go out for a job just to see what's out there or I'm going out for a job with a purpose okay first thing I want you to get clear on folks is are you looking for a career or are you looking for a job now what's the difference well the difference is a career is something that you choose a job is something that is left over because you've not really thought about where you want to be okay or maybe you're doing this as a part-time part-time thing not long-term thing you're doing this basically to get some money whereas a career you're seeing long-term contributions development how you can really contribute how you can build how you can do a lot of things okay so the common mistakes that people often do and this is universal when they're going in for a job interview situation, they first of all don't do any research, okay? So I'm going to do a mock interview with you and I want you to imagine yourself in this situation. So you come into my office and you say, well, Mr. Morris, I'm here for a job interview and uh, I say, sit down, Mr. Mrs. whatever your name is, Mr. Mrs. X, okay? So I said, Mrs. X, okay, why on, why on earth should I give you this job? Okay, that's one of the questions I'm going to ask you. And people often say things like, well, you know, I can do this, I can do that, I can do the other. Um, none of which usually has anything to do with the job advertised, okay? Now that's really, really key. Bear that in mind. Write these things down. Okay, be specific about the job that you are going for. If you're going for a marketing or sales job, I don't want to know about the time that you were cleaning toilets or, you know, working in a bakery. Okay, that's great for experience, but does that actually pertain to what we're talking about here? If it doesn't, then don't bring it up. Simple as that, okay? People can find that over time. Um, other mistakes that people make is, like I said, being very underprepared, not dressing correctly. Do not go to an interview, folks. Um, if you're going for a business position in trainers or jeans, you want to go looking smart. You want to go actually ideally in a suit. Okay. Now, if you're coming to work for me, it depends on the organization. But if you're coming to work with me, um, I definitely want you to look smart. If you come in a suit, you've got, you know, instantly you've got my, my attention. If you come in in jeans, but looking smart, I, again, you've got my attention. If you just come in in a t-shirt and tracky bottoms, then I will probably show you the door very, very quickly because you've not thought clearly about this. So those are some of the common mistakes that people make is often how they dress, how they present themselves, but often about the research. And getting onto that, I want to, I want to tell you and I want to give you a snippet and this is, this is literally gold here, okay? So if you want to support the show at this point, for the information I'm about to give you, head to patreon.com forward slash mind, body, and soul. You can support the research, education, and study that we are doing to make sure we bring you guys the best content physically possible. So, four things that a potential employer is looking for. Number one, are you a good fit in my company? That's a big thing, okay? Because if you're going to cause drama in my company, I don't want you. Simple as that. Why? Because drama costs so many hours per week. And if I have to deal with you and another member of staff, 
and you're both being paid £10 an hour, well, there's £20 per hour that I've got to deal with your nonsense. If I've got to deal with that over a seven-day period, in, in, if you're working for us, we work seven days, um, that's £140 in a, in, a, in a week that I have just had to waste dealing with you two and all that kind of stuff. So drama is a no-no in our organization, certainly, and hopefully any organization that's out there that is worth their salt recognizes that. And if you're an organization that allows drama, stop it. Simple as that. Okay, so are you gonna be a good fit with our team? But the main things are, can you reduce my outgoings? Can you increase my incomings? And can you increase our customer service. Now I work this through uh, in our training courses that I do one-on-one um, -on -one training with teenagers and with adults. Uh, if you're interested in life coaching to get a job, to get comfortable in this situation, get in touch with us. We do offer short-term coaching. This is something that I walk through and we walk through this over and over and over again. So what I want to hear and what I would present to anyone who I was looking for a potential job with is this. Mr. Boss. Mr. Morris, so I'm, I'm going to interview myself. Mr. Morris, I believe I'm a good fit for your organization. Why? Because since I saw your advert placed on the Job Center website or whatever website or the newspaper or local tabloid, whatever it might be, wherever you are in the world, doesn't matter, okay? It shows that you've read, shows that you've got into it. I've done some research on your organization and I have found that your organization could increase in three ways. One, in marketing, two, in sales, three, in organizational skills of your team, okay? If you, those are the three biggest issues, by the way, that organizations struggle with the most. In doing so, I can increase your income, I can decrease your outgoings, and I can increase your customer service um, ability. When you do that to a, a customer or to, a, or to a, an employer, that's gonna get their attention. All of a sudden their ears break up and they're like, wow, okay, this guy can make me money, save me money, and increase our customer service. That's fantastic, okay? But here's the kicker, and you need to know this. Here is the plan on how I'm going to do it. Because you can say all those three things, you can increase service, you can you know, increase income, decrease outgoings, if you cannot develop a plan, that's the conversation of it. If you could say, Mr. Boss, Mr. Morris, here's the plan on how I'm gonna do it. Is this a fit for your company? If you can do that, and I've seen and coached children and teen, well, teenagers, to be fair, 17, almost, you know, children, adult stage, young adults. We've coached them on how to do this, and some have already gone, and I've seen this with other organizations that have done this. Some can literally go into a company, be terribly underqualified to be too young, not enough experience, all that kind of stuff, but if they can say that, and they can understand then how to put the plan into practice and operation, and they get the support there to do it, they will get the job 95% of the time, and you can as well. So that's, that is the importance there, folks. Increase income, decrease outgoings, increase your customer sales, and are you going to be a good fit with my team? In other words, are you gonna cause problems if you're gonna cause drama? Because if you are, I don't care how good you are, you know, we'll find, we'll find something else for you to do in the politest way possible. So I hope that really helps you today, folks. Uh, if it does, let me know in the comments section below. Come and visit us at thebattlesweallface.com if you've got teenagers or if you are interested in life coaching yourself. We offer one-on-one, -on -one, we offer group coaching, and we also offer family coaching as well to help your family dynamic work that little bit better. And of course, as always, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that helps them in their darkest hour in their time of need. And if you've got any questions for us, comment in the section below. We are always here to help. Don't forget, folks, to watch for tomorrow's episode of Br uh, Bridging the Gap with Alyssa and I and myself where we're going to be talking about this more in depth a little bit doing it in real time and a couple of other topics there as well and of course on Friday we've got another special guest that is going to be joining us on the show for the Mind Body and Soul podcast so we've got lots of things for you guys and this is the only place you want to be to ensure that you get great content that is going to help you get from where you want to be step by step and clearly in your life. And I've been your host, John Morris. This has been Going Deeper, where we go deeper in a specific topic, subject, or whatever else happens. And have an amazing week, guys. Take care. God bless. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity, and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. 
Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as a trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon